Hey, what's up? Robert LaFrance here with the LaFrance Paradigm where we learn and share strategies for an impact. I wanted to make this quick video because I was super excited. I was doing my morning transcendental meditation in my mind. I just kept going with these ideas and everything that I got going on. So I figured out what I'm going to do here for my YouTube channel and for you out there, you veterans, you entrepreneurs, you fathers out there trying to earn some extra money or create a life on your terms and values. I am coming up with this six week uh, like course essentially. I'm, it's a six week series where I'm going over the next six weeks introducing the six aspects to a successful business that you need to consider if you're out here trying to start a business, trying to start a new hustle, trying to figure out a way, or you're just trying to make your time and money work for you in a better way. There's things that you got to think about, okay? We're going to start with identifying our priorities and the time that we have. We're going to create our own schedule because it's too often. I see too many people like, okay, I'm ready. I'm excited. You know, the marketing works. So they're in a pinch and they're trying to start something new because whatever is going on in their life, you know, they're like, oh, I'm so committed. I need to do this now. But they don't realize the time that they need to take care of themselves, to schedule their stuff. All right. Especially if you're working a nine to five, there's things that you have to consider. All right. So we're going to ID our priorities and schedule. And I'm going to share the tools that you can use to quickly and effectively identify your priorities and schedule your week. Okay. And then our number two one is we're going to identify your product or service. You might have one. You might not have one. You might see a need out there in the marketplace. You might see the opportunity to buy one, but seeing the need, having a creative idea, trying to put it out there or buying one only gets you so far if you don't schedule it, if you don't understand what the marketplace needs and you don't understand how to maintain it and manage it, okay? And then we're going to go on to uh, step three of understanding what a sales funnel is, okay? Every business, every product or service out there is essentially called a sales funnel. And at the very top, you have, you know, uh, the mar the customers you're offering your service, but then it goes through a process where they begin to know, like, and trust you and build rapport with you until they are ultimately ready to make a purchase. All right. So how do we do that? So whether you're a real estate agent and there, everybody has a real estate agent, friend or family out there, what's going to make you separate from every other person out there? You know, the times of you walking into a restaurant and saying, hey, who do you know that needs to buy or sell a house? Or is pretty much gone. All right. So it's really important for you, no matter what type of business you're in, whether you're a real estate investor, a buyer, or someone who sells art at the local farmer's market, it's important that you understand the process and really uh, become an expert in your business if you want to, you know, make life changing income, whether it's, you know, a couple hundred bucks a month or, you know, thousands of dollars. And then after understanding the purpose of a sales funnel, we're going to go down to step four where we're going to identify how to become the subject matter expert and really market your product or service and market yourself. Because especially in an environment where, you know, in a world where there's like the internet and so many people out there, you know, offering ethical services, and then there's people out there who are just trying to make a quick buck, you know, none of us want to get burned anymore. And that's why the sales funnel has become what it has become. So how do you become the subject matter expert in your field or towards towards your target audience and how do you market to them effectively, all right? Honestly, ethically, and morally correct. How do you market to these people to really make an impact with your product or service, all right? So after four, we're gonna go to step five, which is making them a repeat customer. I don't know if that's backwards or correct or whatever, but it doesn't matter because you're gonna get to see legit material and content coming up in the next few weeks, as well as a downloadable guide where it's gonna have all of these steps and instructions and uh, sections for you to use the tools. It's a, it's a workbook. So as you do it, you'll have a to-done list, okay? But how do you create repeat customers? How do you get referrals? How do you keep people coming back? Because you can, you know, making one sale is great in the short you know, term of things, but if you're trying to make a long-term everlasting business or receive cash flow so you can start living your life however it is that you want, whether it's picking up your kids from school or trying to buy that yacht, how do you make repeat customers? So that's part of the sales funnel. And we're going to add to that. And then number six is asset management. Okay. Asset management is something that you want to consider in the forefront in the very beginning. You know, how much money do I plan on making? Where do I see my life? And then you can start working towards that goal. You know, you can start doing business as, you know, individual underneath your name, underneath your social security. You're going to pay taxes on your knee, under, under your name. 
However, when you start operating as a business entity, an LLC, Limited Liability Corp., you get to pay less taxes as a business owner. There's things that you can take advantage of and write off and pay taxes on less income than you might be making when you have your business entity structured right. And if you're interested in investing in real estate or in some field where you are have the op- opportunity to make millions of dollars, you're going to want to make sure that you have trusts or family limited partnerships or the correct business entity in place for you to make sure that you know lawsuits don't come after you. There's a lot of things that can happen in the United States with the legal system, you know. So, or if things go bad, you know, my story is I was in a divorce. So if I don't want to lose all of my assets, how do I cover my assets? And that's through asset management. So, and also tax advantages. So it's not just in case of a bad day. It's to really make sure that you're paying the least amount of taxes possible. And um, you want to consider that when you first start your business entity because the, in order to earn more money, you can pay le- You need to pay less taxes. And that's something that you can consider now is, okay, I'm working my 9 to 5 job. If I become a business owner of some sort, even operating underneath my own so- social security number, Now that I'm a home-based business or whatever type of business owner you may be, you can start writing off that taxable income and then start earning more money. So the best way to earn more money isn't to to work more hours. It's to pay less taxes. And we'll go over that. And of course, I'm not an attorney or a tax advisor or CPA, but I have resources and experience in these fields that I can connect you with and share with you so you can customize and tailor, you know, tailor your life how you're going to live it. Okay. So I'm really excited to share this. I was super stoked. And um, I think it's going to be a great way to stay connected over the next six weeks, as well as create uh, in-person events, start an online course and do things together. Okay. So thank you so much. If you're not following me right now, hit the, hit the subscribe button. So you never miss the next uh, six episodes or in future episodes and make sure you hit a like or drop a comment Um, of things that you liked from this video so I can continue to tailor my content towards you, okay? So I'm really excited. Get out there. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and um, you're, you're making sure you're getting the rest that you need, okay? So look forward to talking to you soon. The rising tide lifts all ships. Encourage is contagious. So help me help you help your friends. Take care.